Hi everybody! Today is May 10th and it is Mother's Day so I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there and I'm making a video today from, it's actually, the idea came from my friend Nikita Camilleri from Australia. She thought it would be a good idea to make a video about this and I thought it was a great idea and it's about how we need to pay attention to ourselves and I'll get into it in a minute but first of all I just have to say Carl I watched your video <laughs> before I started this video when you were in Egypt and I was laughing so hard I have watched that video so many times and you crack me up so I just thought I would say hi to you and how funny you are but um anyway Nikita and I were emailing each other back and forth and I think it's so important for us to pay attention to our bodies and we really cannot push the limits. And my body lets me know when to stop. And I, I've talked to you all, you know I love going on the elliptical, but my legs will literally stop working if I am on it for too long and I look at it as a blessing almost because there are people who don't have MS or they don't have a physical challenge and they push themselves too much and they get injured like athletes especially professional athletes you hear all the time that they have to have surgery or they're out or they have they have problems because they push themselves too much so it's like well maybe that's a good thing about MS <laughs> it's just I don't get injured it's just my legs stop working so that's how I try to look at it but it it is really important I, yesterday I, I have to talk about this on Friday night it was an absolutely amazing night for me because I had no responsibilities I literally read a book. I have a new book that I'm reading. Thank you, Jean. Um, I'm reading The Shack and I laid in my bed. I wrote to some of you on YouTube and I just relaxed. And my body was, was really tired so I let my body rest and it was perfect. And then yesterday I woke up, I went on the elliptical and I went to the mall with my mom. Well, we were shopping for so long that there was a point where I was at Banana Republic and I was so tired and my legs were so exhausted that I started leaning over to the right. And it is so weird that it happens to me. And I know if it gets to that point, I have to sit down. But I was trying to write in a book and and my body was just leaning. And, and <laughs> there were these people staring at me like, oh my God, what's her problem? And my, my mom was like, you're like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> I was like, thanks. But, um... Back to what Nikita and I were talking about, she said that she would love to have a relaxing lifestyle, but that's not always possible, obviously, because we all have responsibilities. And she said something that I totally agree with. She said that she's so much more in sync with her body now compared to when she was first diagnosed. And I think that's that's the case for for everybody, or at least it should be. I mean, when you're first diagnosed, it is like the scariest thing ever because you have no idea what's going on, you worry about the future, but then after having it for a period of time, you get used to things. And when you have new symptoms, you learn to adjust to them because there's not a cure for MS, so we just have to take it as it comes. And the best advice I think is to step it down a notch and relax if you're overdoing it. Like when my body started leaning over in Banana Republic yesterday, I knew it was time to sit down. And I told my mom, I can't do this right now. I need I need a break. And she she has done research about about this and that's exactly what she discovered is that you just need to step it down relax your body and cool cool it you know and she said that what she what she likes to do is take a foot bath and she'll wear a face mask and that that relaxes her and she'll have her boyfriend he does the cooking or the grocery shopping instead of her because she needs her body to relax and I, I think that's really smart of her to do and I think that Nikita I think that's really awesome that your boyfriend will step in and do those things and 
you know, we both like to do things like go out for coffee with our friends. And um, like I said, you know, Friday was so great because I just laid in my bed. I read in my book. I, I typed on the computer and it was just so wonderful. It was relaxing and it was great. And I just think it's so important for us all to really try hard to listen to our bodies and pay attention to yourself and listen to your body. You know, you know your body better than anybody else. So for me, like I said, my my legs will just stop working or I start looking like the leaning tower pizza and I know it's time to sit down. For other people it might, you know, it might be different, but you're you listen to your body and your body will tell you when to stop and when to relax and it's really important. And because we have more challenges in our life, it's okay to relax. It's okay to do that. You're not going to get in trouble for laying on the couch or sitting down for a couple minutes or an hour or a night. And that's okay. So I just thought, Nikita, I think it was a great idea to suggest this for a video. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful Mother's Day and I will be talking to you soon. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.